Invergarden is, is the main port within the Cromarty Firth. It services the, the local industry, the local community. Um, it services the oil industry and now the renewables with wind uh, turbines coming and going. You can see rigs out in the Firth, there, there's maintenance work done on them. And we also have the cargo business. It's quite a wide spectrum. And of course in the summertime this year we had 64 cruise ships which carried with them 33,000 crew and uh, 94,000 passengers in the community. So it's a, it's a big factor in, uh, in what happens in this community. My role in, in Invergarden is uh, sea Sailor Society Port Chaplain, which means that uh, I take part in the running of the Seafarer Centre, which this year welcomed over 4,600 crew from the ships. But we also visit the ships, the big ships, which have maybe 1,500 crew, and with a lot of crew, you have a lot of problems. Our small ships, like the one behind us, will only have seven or eight crew, but they're away from home for seven, eight, nine, ten months of the year, so they have a lot of needs. So we look after their spiritual and practical needs. We give them Bibles, we give them Christian leaflets, we also give them warm clothes because they, they come from warm countries, they join a ship here in, in, the, in the summertime, but they come to our door in the winter with light clothes on and flip-flops and crocs, so their needs are wide and varied. Good morning. To Good to Papa see you. Paul. Thank you. Yeah. We have all sorts of nationalities. In Mark's Gospel, uh, Jesus commanded his disciples to go out and preach the Gospel to all the world. But we're very fortunate in Vergarden that we have this, uh, this year over 78 nationalities visit us in the, in the church, in the centre. So we ha visit them, we welcome them into the church. We give them books and Bibles in their own language, which they're very, very thankful for. I mean, some of the young folk will break down in tears, they're so, so thankful to get a Bible in their own language. Is this for me? It's free? Oh, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. It's quite amazing. Everybody? Well, I've got Tagalog for yourself, yeah. yes, and a Tagalog Bible for your friend. Yeah. There you are. And we also this year there's about 33,000 crew came in on the cruise ships. In addition, you've got all the smaller uh, commercial vessels and tankers that come in. In the centre, we had over 4,600 crew come in. They come in for Wi-Fi, they come in for just a time of spiritual peace, they'll read their Bibles, they'll have coffee, a time just to socialise and relax, things they can't do on board ship. They, we treat them like, like our friends, like guests in our own house, and it's greatly appreciated. We get this time of year, we'll have emails and, and uh, letters from around the world thanking us for what we do. And of course, this year, this time of year being Christmas, we give out over 300 parcels to crews. Make them feel at home, make them feel that they're welcomed at a strange part of the world because 90-odd percent of the people we meet are from other countries. Thank you very much, God bless you. I hope yeah, we'll see you again one day. Take care. It's thoroughly rewarding. I used to do this job. I don't think it's a job. It's just something I have to do. I used to work and, and do this job as well, but I gave up work and I now do this full time. It's, it's very rewarding. When someone can burst into tears, is thankful to get a Bible and have a time with this. And when you see young people coming to Christ within our church from these ships, you couldn't have a better job.